Hey y'all, it's your girl India Zuri and I'm here with another video. You know, I'm growing, I'm learning, I'm sharing. So I want to talk to y'all about seven things I wish I knew in my 20s. Okay, let's go. So number one how to talk to people i wish i had knew how to talk to people you catch more bees with honey always smile be polite to everyone no matter how they treat you or how your day is going always always be gracious be polite and be you know Good to people no matter what don't let nobody kill your vibe take your energy change your energy remember that number two what i wish i knew in my 20s emotional intelligence i wish i knew about emotional intelligence never show a person how you truly feel and when it comes to guys, never really show a man how you truly feel, ladies, young ladies. Because I used to be like a over lover. So I went through like hell and back in my relationships. I was cheated on and you know, I believed all the lies because I was in love and love does not hurt you. I used to show my emotions to my friends all the time and they would use my emotions against me. They would. I needed to understand and master my emotions in my 20s. I'm still working on my emotional intelligence, but I'm better. Honey, yes, I'm better. Okay, number three. How to balance my finances. So, I went to college and I accrued a lot of student loans. I blew through my refund checks. I didn't understand that I had to pay that money back plus high interest. I got a lot of credit cards. Store credit cards are not good for your credit. And I did not know that. They're not good for your credit. I never knew that even when you pay a credit card off, you should never close the account or let the credit card company close the account. It takes lots of points off of your credit score and I didn't know that. Credit is very important. Be wise and only get two major credit cards and only buy what you can afford to buy don't buy stuff that you can you know that you're not going to you know pay off on your credit card don't buy that stuff just only buy stuff you that you can afford or that you can you know pay it off eventually stay focused on you know your credit because your credit is very important and i wish i would have known that when i was younger in my 20s but i didn't but now i know Okay, number four, everyone is not going to like you. You are not going to be everyone's cup of tea, honey. Everyone you love or like is not going to want or appreciate you. Like people who like you, try to like the people in your life that like you and appreciate you for you. Even in your love life date the men that are obsessed with you and then just pick from the guys that are obsessed, obsessed with you pick from those guys and choose one of the guys that are obsessed with you that you like okay and never chase people never chase people or anything really except for the coins okay <laughs> If they don't like you or don't want to be with you or don't want to be your friend, then it's their loss. Like, don't you pine over them. Don't you don't you shed one tear because it's really their loss. 
Okay, number five, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Everything you see is not always what it seems. I started a career that I am currently in because I thought it was going to be so cool. I thought it would be, you know, easy money for college. Nope. It's been a lot. It's been quite a journey. And maybe one day we will have a discussion about that. But it's been quite a, a journey and it, it hasn't been easy. So um, it has been very, I sacrificed a lot, you know, and I didn't know a lot. And you have to do your research about things before you get into them. I would recommend that. Do your research about any job that you want or any career that you want to get in before you get into it. So that you can know the ins and outs and everything. So I wanted to have a baby also and I have a baby and it's been a learning experience. It's not what everyone was making it seem like on social media. Social media is smoking mirrors, child. Child being a YouTuber, it seems easy, but it's not. It requires you to invest a lot of money into having the right equipment, having the right everything you have to have everything right editing you have to hire editors you know you have to have find people to do catchy thumbnails for you it requires a lot from you so you know everything is not what it seems and the grass is not always greener on the other side okay let's get to number six don't try to change people Meet others where they are. Love them for who they are, not for their potential or who you wish they would be. I used to try to change people. I used to try to look for the potential in, in people, but people are who they are. So I had learned, I always knew this prayer, but I... I say it every day and I'm going to teach my daughter to say that. I'm going to teach my my um, nephew and my nieces and little brother, you know, this, this prayer, like to always say this prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. It's very important just have to have serenity and you you're not going to change people you're not and then we go into number seven you don't need to settle do not settle for something that you are not no longer interested in that is no longer serving you do not settle i promise you my name is india siri and i mean this y'all do not settle settling will will get you something that you do not want the truth is that the good ones are not a limited commodity this goes for dating until you know yourself you won't know who is right for you so if you don't know yourself you want to know who right who's right for you so if i would have married my baby's father simply because it was the right thing to do i would be divorced the best way to find the right partner is to be your real self and not who you think you're supposed to be. So just be real and just don't settle. Don't settle for anything involving your career, your friendships. If your friend is not treating you right and they're not doing what they're supposed to do and it's not a give and take, like I said, everything is a give and take. It's a give and take. If you're, you're always giving and you're not receiving anything, you need to leave the table. It's no longer serving you. You need to leave the table. Like, there's nothing else to be said. Don't settle for a job that you're not interested in. You know, work the job until long enough for you to get another job. You know, don't settle, you know, and don't, don't settle, like, because selling is like really not a good thing and i learned the hard way with that you know you settle because you think it's not 
much out there but there's a lot of fishes in the sea there is a lot of jobs out there there's a lot of opportunities out there for you don't settle if one thing doesn't work go to another thing okay i'm gonna go back over the seven things that i wish i knew so that you know recap it all right so number how to talk to people number two emotional intelligence number three how to balance my finances number four everyone is not going to like you number five the grass is not always greener on the other side and number six don't try to change and lastly number seven do not settle and always remember to love thou hater and just be yourself and love yourself and remember that you are a sunflower so glow sunflower glow don't forget to like subscribe and comment thank you Audi.